Hi, and welcome to Aline's product educational video. My name is Byron Draper, product specialist for the motorcycle road and track division. One of the most widely used products in our assortment is the SDX shock absorber. This is a single tube shock absorber developed for many types of bikes, such as adventure, hypersport, custom, street, and scooters. So how does the STX work? Let's take a look at the technology and different types of STX shock absorbers. The Erlen's STX shock is produced in three different designs, depending on intended use. All three are pressurized by using either an internal reservoir, known as a D-type, a piggyback style reservoir, P-type, or with a remote reservoir connected by a hose, referred to as a H-type. Functionally, they are somewhat equal, the main difference being the number of compression and rebound damping adjusters used. Some of our STX shocks come fitted with hydraulic spring preload adjusters. This allows preload adjustment to be made easily when setting up your bike. You may be wondering why many shock absorbers are pressurized. One misconception is that piggyback reservoirs are filled with nitrogen to keep the shock cool. In actual fact, we use nitrogen to pressurize the shock, reducing the risk of air bubbles forming in the oil, causing a loss of damping force, a phenomenon called cavitation. Inside the shock is a piston, attached to a piston shaft. The compression shim stack is located on one side of the piston, and the rebound shim stack is on the opposite side. As the motorcycle hits a bump in the road, it causes the shock to compress, absorbing the bump. This is commonly known as the compression phase. During this phase, the spring compresses and the piston shaft enters the damper, displacing oil into the reservoir. The compression shim stack will open, allowing a restricted flow of oil through the piston ports. This restriction in oil flow controls the chassis and wheel movement and is normally referred to as damping force. When a spring is compressed, it stores energy. When released, this energy tries to return the spring to its original length. This causes the shock to extend, commonly known as the rebound phase. During this phase, the damping process takes place in the opposite direction. On some of our shocks, the damping force can be externally adjusted to either increase or decrease the amount of resistance created during the compression and rebound phases. Without resistance from the damping system, the shock would compress and extend freely, allowing the rear of the motorcycle to bounce up and down in an uncontrolled manner. To combat this, the STX shock provides consistent performance to keep your rear tire in contact with the road surface at all times and control chassis movements. The result? Improved comfort, safety, and predictability, which inspire confidence throughout your riding experience. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our video. Now it's time to get out and enjoy your motorcycle.